Today's case, implantable defibrillators. Mr. J is a 70-year-old African-American man with a history of acute myocardial infarction six weeks ago. He appears to be doing well on medical therapy, including aspirin, a beta blocker, ACE inhibitor, and statin. However, post-MI echocardiography has shown a low left ventricular ejection fraction of 30%. Ventricular dysfunction is a condition in which the ventricle of the heart is functionally impaired. It may be associated with a diminished ejection fraction, the proportion of blood ejected from the left ventricle during a heartbeat. An LVEF of less than 40% indicates dysfunction of the left ventricle. Mr. J is very close to his grandchildren and reports that his eldest granddaughter just got into law school. He's concerned that given the state of his heart, he will not survive to see her graduate. Mr. J's physician tells you that several studies have investigated whether prophylactic placement of an implantable defibrillator can reduce mortality in patients such as Mr. J who have problems with ejection fraction following an MI. She tells you to find the evidence that would indicate whether or not Mr. J might benefit from an implantation of a defibrillator. You're asked to do a PubMed search and bring the answer to morning rounds.